Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. See in this result, we have a matrix space XD, A is subset of X and we have to prove that D of D of A is subset of D of A. D of A means set of derived set. Okay, so it's a derived set that means set of all limit points of A. So we have to prove that D of D of A is subset of D of A. Getting? So we are familiar with the definition of limit point. X is a limit point of A. If SR of X or BXR minus singleton X intersection A is not equal to phi, and this is true for every R greater than zero, then we say X is a limit point of A. But see, we have one more definition. Okay, that means the same definition we can express in terms of epsilon also. So here I'm going to use that epsilon definition. So let us take one epsilon first. Let, let epsilon greater than zero be given. Getting? So what we have to prove, we have to prove that D of D of A is subset of D of A. So how to prove one set is subset of other? We have very simple technique. We take any arbitrary element from the first set and we, we prove that it is in second set. Okay, so same technique I'm going to follow. So let X belongs to D of D of A. What it means, it simply means X is a limit point of d of a okay so x is the limit point of d of a so that's why i'm going to follow the definition of limit point okay epsilon definition of limit point so therefore we can write therefore for above epsilon greater than zero there exists some point there exists point y belongs to d of a okay such that y is not equal to x such that such that d of x comma y less than epsilon getting so what it means x is a limit point of d of a that means there exists one point y which is element of d of a other than x which will satisfy this condition distance between x and y is less than epsilon that means these two points are very close to each other getting so actually we have a epsilon in definition but for adjustment purpose i am considering here epsilon by 2 okay i am calling it as equation number or inequality number 1 so what we have now, okay, so we have, let me write, we have y belongs to d of a. y belongs to d of a means what d of a means derived set set of all limit points of a. y belongs to d of a, that means we can say y is a limit point of a. Let me write it here, we have some space, okay, yes, so implies we can write, implies y is a limit point of a so same definition i can follow epsilon definition so therefore what can yeah will you tell me what can we write here for above epsilon greater than zero there exists point z belongs to a now since y is a limit point of a getting so we should take element from a other than y so z is not equal to y we can take z is not equal to x also okay since already we have one point so i'm selecting one point z which is an element of a but other than y and x okay such that d of y comma z less than epsilon actually in definition we have less than epsilon but just for adjustment i'm considering epsilon by 2 i'm calling it as 2 then by triangle inequality okay so then by triangle inequality what can we write d of xz less than or equal to d of xy plus d of yz. So we are familiar with this property triangle inequality which we have already seen in the definition of metric, right? Yes, d of xz less than or equal to d of xy plus d of yz. But what we have from 1, d of xy is less than epsilon by 2. From 2, d of yz is less than epsilon by 2. So I should mention here from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2 epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 that means we will have epsilon getting so therefore our conclusion is d of xz less than epsilon this thing we are getting okay d of xz less than epsilon where z belongs to a and x is not equal to z this is a very important thing we have okay so the same definition we can write in a reverse way so that means when we say x is the limit point of a then we say or x is the limit point of d of a then there is just y belongs to d of a other than x such that this is less than epsilon by 2. So the same kind of thing we have. So x d of xz less than epsilon z belongs to a and x is not equal to z. It means x is a limit point 
of a by same definition okay we are getting this one x is the limit point of a d of a denotes set of all limit points of a so that's why we can write x belongs to d of a getting what can we write x belongs to d of a there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so we have x is a limit point of a so therefore we can write x belongs to d of a actually we had taken x from d of d of a okay we had taken element x from this set and finally we prove that it is in d of a so therefore we can write our conclusion d of d of a is subset of d of a okay so the first part is proved here getting so d of d of a is subset of d of a so we can write the same thing in this way also that means d of a contains all its limit points We're getting so same thing i'm writing in this way so implies d of a contains all its limit points getting yes so d that means derived set set of all limit points of that set getting so d of d of a is subset of d of a that means d of a contains all its limit points and we know that if any set contains all its limit points then that set is closed set getting or that if and only part we have proved so therefore we can write so therefore d of a is closed okay so reason is since it contains all its limit points so we have in this way we have proved the second part also d of a is closed since it contains all its limit points okay so in this way we have completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye